Blessings, 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 blessings. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, brothers and sisters. Glory to Jesus Christ. Hello, everybody. Please let me know if you all can hear me. Hi, Miss Mindy. Miss Mindy is in the building, you guys. If you don't know Miss Mindy, she's one of our moderators. God bless her. I'm so happy that you're here to help out, Mindy. And I see Lynette, I see Chantel, I see Maria, I see Tanisha. Hallelujah. Praise God. So this word, guys, that I'm getting ready to give you all today, this is a warning. This is a warning. And it came from nowhere. When I say it came from nowhere, it came out of nowhere. Um, but it's a word that needs to go into Come, it needs to go out to the body of Christ before we enter into the new season. And so I want to tell you guys what it is that the Lord is saying as it relates to our harvest, our 2021 harvest. I see a lot of people here from YouTube today. So that means that I did something right this time. Praise the Lord. And I also see some people here from Facebook. Thank you guys for coming, Elsa. Good to see you. I see... Who else do I see on here? Denise, I said Denise, Queen, Olin K, Dr. Mary, Nappy Girl TV, Tiffany, Neona. I think I'm saying it right. I'm sorry, Miss Neona. I think it's right. Joy, Bridget, Marsha. Thank you all ladies for coming. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I thank you all for coming to support this ministry. I thank you all for being my brothers and sisters in Christ. I love you all and I'm honored to be in your presence. And I'm honored that you all are entrusting me to speak for the Lord through this ministry. So I just thank you guys so much. And thank you guys for coming. Hallelujah. So guys, I'm not going to hold you all too long because I know that we're, you know, we're getting into the um, Christmas holiday and some people are shopping and, and, and running errands and, and maybe getting some dinner ready or whatever the case may be. So I'm not going to hold you too long, but this is definitely a pertinent message that needs to get into the minds and the hearts of, of God's righteous, because um, this is something that the enemy is planning for next year. So the whole goal of me releasing this warning is to make sure that we are in position to, to, to keep those things that the Lord is giving us, to keep those things that God has given us because of our faithfulness, if that makes sense. So guys, before we get into the word on today, I want to pray really quickly before we get started. And I just want to wait for a couple more people to come on in and show up. And then I want to fix some things so we don't have any noise during this broadcast. Hi, hi, Amir. Hi, Bessie. Hi, Tara. Great afternoon, Tara. <laughs> Oh, wow. It's good to see you guys. Miss Mimi, Mimi LaWest, I think I'm saying that right. Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Bernadette. Hi, Bernadette. It's good to see you. Pretty ladies, thank you for coming. All right. So um, before I give you the word of the Lord, I want to go ahead and say a short, quick prayer before we get started. And then I'm going to go into talking to you guys about how this word began to manifest in my spirit. And then I'm going to give you the actual um, prophecy, the actual word from God, the prophetic word from the Lord. Hi, Teresa. Praise God. Eric, it's good to see you, my brother. Good to see you. Spiritual leap. Okay. So without further ado, if you all will bow your heads and be silent and let's go ahead and say a quick short prayer. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, dear Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God, we come to you humbly and hungry for the word of God. Father God, we are so honored that we are your children. We are honored, Lord God, that we are your beloved. And we thank you, Lord, that you love us more than we love ourselves. Father God, you are the reason that we breathe. We understand that all words of instructions, warnings, all words of encouragement and upliftment are for our own good. Father God, we ask, Lord God, for those of us that are not in a place of having to repent for those things that we have done, Father, that you will open up our hearts and minds to repent, 
to give us the humbleness in our hearts to confess those sins that we have not confessed unto you today. And Father God, that we ask for your forgiveness at this time. We ask, Lord God, that you will help us turn away from our sins and that you will help us walk with you, that you will prepare us for those things that we need to be prepared for as we continue to walk this walk with you into the kingdom of heaven. Father God, we believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross. We believe that Jesus Christ was resurrected and we believe that he must become the ruler of our hearts. He must reign in our hearts and we must obey him from this day forward. And we must maintain a repentant heart. We must follow his decrees and his commands. And we ask Lord God that you receive that forgiveness for us. We ask, Lord God, that you receive our confession, Lord God. We ask that you will receive us into your family and make our paths straight. Father, we ask that you will give us a desire to read our Bibles, to read the scriptures, to breathe the words that you have written in the Bible that have been inspired by you. We ask, Lord God, that you give us the, 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 the drive to want to fast. Give us the desire to want to praise and to worship you and to continue to do all the things that you have called us to do. Father God, not my will, but yours. I ask, Lord God, that you will only allow for me to speak what you have given me to speak and not of my own um, understanding, not of my own um, beliefs. And Father God, we ask that as we are in fellowship with you on today, that you would dispatch your angels to surround us. Father God, and we ask, Lord God, that you would dispatch your angels to cover our families and that you will continue to love us, that you will continue to walk with us, that you will continue to talk with us as we are learning to become molded into Jesus Christ. We're learning to live in righteousness. We're learning to live in holiness. Father God, we thank you so much for this opportunity and giving us the opportunity to continue to set our path straight and also giving us the opportunity to repent for those things that we have yet to repent for. Let this be the day, Lord God, that we, we release our hearts into no more pride, no more arrogance, no more trying to hold on to things that are not for us to hold on to, but for us to relinquish our hearts and minds to you, for us to surrender ourselves completely and totally to you in this moment in time, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray, amen, hallelujah, glory to God people of God. So that is that that's the prayer. So guys, I want to go ahead and get into this word. Um like I said, this word was not something that I was intending on releasing today, but it's something that kind of came to me and I actually first got this notice a few days ago, but I didn't understand that it was attached to this warning up until a couple of days ago. So let me just kind of take you guys into how this warning came to me. And then I'm going to tell you guys what the warning is from the from the Lord as it relates to our 2021 harvest, okay? So first of all, this 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 warning began to take root from a notice. I got a notice in the mail and I received the notice around about the 7th of this month, the 7th of December. And the, the letter, as I opened it, it began to tell me that there was someone that tried to hack my account, all right? Someone tried to hack one of my accounts. And one of these accounts that I have, and I still have it, was opened when I was with my previous employer. So you guys know that I was laid off my job this year, July, 2020. And so, when I, the letter was saying that whoever this unauthorized person was that tried to hack my account, they had actually did it the first day of July. I was laid off on July the 10th, all right? And so this company that has my information, they proceeded to tell me in the letter that it was discovered that this person had gained um, access to my account on July the 1st. And so when they discovered that this person had gained, you know, unauthorized access to my account, they took immediate action. The letter said that they took immediate action to shut this person down and deny the access to this mailbox that is attached to this account that I have um, with my previous employer. And then the letter went on to say that this unauthorized individual actually had access to my account 
since June the 24th. So they didn't see it until the first, but this person had access in, um, since June 24th, 2020. So they've had access to my account from June 24th to July 1st, 2020. And the notice went on to say that they took all the necessary, you know, safeguard measures that they needed to protect my information, but they could not tell me if the person may have copied my information because there was my name, uh, my address. I think my date of birth was in there. My social security was not available, but there was just some personal identifying, you know, information guys that was there. And so, but they couldn't tell me whether that person was able to copy my copy my information. They didn't know whether that person um, took it somewhere else. The only thing that they could say was that they just shut the access now to the person that had got access to my mailbox, right? And then they went on to tell me the, the different steps that they were gonna take to protect me in the future. And then they told me that they were going to sign me up, you know, with some free credit monitoring service and things like that. So, guys, after I read that notice, um, as I was folding the notice up, it was at that moment in time that I heard the Holy Spirit say, their access is being denied to your harvest because they deceived you in your last season. I need to say this again. As I was closing up the notice that was telling me that an unauthorized person tried to get access to my account and they were denied, I heard the Holy Spirit say, their access is being denied to your harvest because they deceived you in the past. Jesus. All right. And so after I heard that in the spirit, Holy Spirit told me to go to Revelation. So I went to the book of Revelation and I'm going to read that because you guys need to get the fullness of this warning. After I heard that from Holy Spirit, he led me to read Revelations chapter three, verse 11. And guys, in Revelation chapter three, verse 11, it says, behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast that no man make thy crown. Let me read that again. Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown, okay? So when I meditated on that scripture, guys, and I studied it, to me, the word was saying to me, crown. The word crown stood out to me in this, in this verse, right? It stood out to me. And so because the word crown stood out to me in this verse, I began to research its meaning. I began to go to the scriptures to research the meaning of what crown means. And what I learned is that a crown is something that Jesus Christ himself gives his believers. He gives to his children. It's something that he gives when you come into submission to him, when you come into surrenderance of him, when you receive him as your Lord, when he rules and reigns in your heart, Jesus Christ gives you a crown. Okay. And what is a crown people of God? A crown is a reward. It's a reward that God gives us to help run our race, to help equip us to run our race, to help us walk out our promises and the plans that he has for our lives. And it also gives us the ability to exercise our authority in Christ Jesus and coming against those things that are coming against us, coming against those things that are hindering us, that comes our way as we are walking with Jesus Christ, okay? Now, I found several references to what we should know about the crowns that we, that God gives us. But what really stood out to me, guys, and it's very applicable to this warning, is when the Lord led me to 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 through 27. And I must read this to you. So in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 through 27, it says, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. 
And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we are, but we an uncorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a cast away, okay? So this is Paul speaking in this scripture. And to my understanding of what Paul is saying in scripture, he's saying that we are not to allow for someone to take our crowns. We are not to allow for someone to take our rewards. We are not allowed for someone to take our crowns or reward by moving away from the ways of Christ Jesus. Because if we do, our crowns will become corruptible. What does corruptible mean, people of God? It means that your crown will become subject to pride. It will become subject to competition. It will become subject to dishonesty and so on, okay? So with that being said, I need for you to understand that the harvest, your 2021 harvest is your crown. Your 2021 harvest is for your up, is for is, is th that you're getting ready to get in 2021. It is your crown. It is a reward that God has given you for your faithfulness. Okay. All right. And so now that we know that our 2021 crown, and this is for the righteous, forgive me, this is for the righteous. This is not for the wicked. This is not for the people that do not want to repent, that do not want to make it right with God. This is for the righteous. The righteous that are getting ready to receive their 2021 harvest. That is who this is for. All right. So now that we have an idea of our harvest and the importance of our harvest and why God is giving us our harvest and how it is a reward from God because of our what? Our dedication to him, our trusting him, our believing in him, our faith in him. OK. And he's giving us this harvest for what? As a reward to do what? Whatever he calls us to do. Whatever the plan is that he has for our lives in 2021, this harvest is going to help us reach that. This harvest is going to be uh, full of tools, full of the tools that we're going to need to, to get through our year, to get those things done that God is calling us to do. OK, so now I want to go ahead and get into the warning. And again, the Lord is saying that this is for his righteous. This is for his righteous. This is not for the wicked. This is not applicable to the people that don't want to repent. God needs to speak to his beloved right now. OK, and this is concerning your 2021 harvest. God is saying that access is going to be denied. When What does he mean by this? He's saying, be careful of the people that will try to sabotage your crown, which is attached to your 2021 harvest. Let me say this again. Be careful of the people that will try to sabotage your crown, which is attached to your 2021 harvest. Be careful of the people that will try to come back into your life and enter your new season with you. I need to say this again. Be careful of the people that will try to come back into your life and enter your new season. Hallelujah. Now, God is not saying that you can't share your harvest. He's not saying that. He's not saying that he's not going to permit you to share some of those things that are coming from your harvest. But what he is saying, okay, is that we need to be aware, beware of certain people, of certain individuals, of certain connections, of certain entities that have come from our past. OK. And God is saying that the enemy, now that the enemy knows that your harvest is coming, the enemy knows 
that you're getting ready to, to take hold of your 2020 har harvest, he's trying to send someone from your past. He's trying to send someone from your last season to get access to the harvest that God is releasing in your life because of your obedience and faithfulness to the Lord. Not theirs, but yours. OK, so 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 God is saying that these are old acquaintances and he's saying that these old acquaintances from your past are going to come in a form physically and spiritually, physically and spiritually. OK, so for some of you, God is saying that these old um, physical acquaintances from your past, from your last season, they may look like a previous employer. Um, God, is, God is showing me jobs, previous employers, previous people that you used to work for. And, and he's saying that these are places or people that you have worked for in the last seven years. And you may have been fired or you may have been laid off for no reason. He's also showing me um, some of you may, it may have been a job where you had to leave the job because it was unbearable, because um, you were being discriminated against, you were being harassed, you were being treated unfairly, or um, you were being underpaid for your experiences, something like that. Um, God is saying that that is one of the old physical acquaintances that may try to reappear in your new season. Another physical past acquaintance that God is showing me, he's saying previous business partners. He's saying people um, or a person that maybe you were getting ready to connect with at some point in time. And then suddenly they decided that they didn't want to partner with you no more. They decided that they didn't want to go into business with you anymore. And they really didn't give you an explanation. They just said that, you know, it was the wrong time. But really, God is, is revealing that it was because somebody else convinced them not to partner with you. Somebody else got in their ear and told them not to do business with you because they didn't like you or because of something that was said. It was behind false information about you. That's what I'm hearing. And then I also see as it relates to this previous business partner or this previous connection that somebody jumped ship like you guys got all the paperwork together you you had the final things that you wanted to do you even started running the business at some point in time and then all of a sudden this person or this entity decided that they wanted out in the middle of the the, the operations of this partnership or this connection and they said to you well I want to do this myself. And they, they, they decided to do something individually. They didn't want to partner with you anymore. And they never really gave you any reason why they didn't want to partner with you. But then next thing you know, you see this person or you see these people or you see this entity. They have started their own businesses. They have started their own ventures. And the way they are running these things, some of that stuff is founded on the ideas that you and that person came up previously. Come on with you. Come on. Hallelujah. All right. God also showed me previous um, boyfriends and girlfriends, boyfriends and girlfriends. I don't know if you guys were getting ready to get engaged or you were close to getting engaged but you were um, just boyfriend and girlfriend. I'll just say that. And th the Lord began to show me about how these type of people are going to start popping up in your life. All of a sudden, they may pop up in your life out of nowhere. You haven't heard anything from them in months. You haven't heard anything from them in weeks. And all of a sudden, they want to come to you and rekindle their relationship with you, even though you have not heard from them before in, in, in the past. OK, even though you have not heard from them in months, I keep hearing months and maybe even weeks and it could be a year or two. But I see these as being people that have been in your life most recently. OK, and then another physical um, acquaintance that God is showing me that's going to try to show up are um, estranged family members, 
estranged family members suddenly showing up in your life. These are family members that maybe they, they could be a brother, they could be a sister, they could be an aunt, uncle, cousins, um, whoever they are, and they're connected to you by your bloodline. OK, and these particular family members are envious of you. They have a history of being envious of you. They have a history of being jealous of you. They have a history of not liking you for whatever reason it may be. And God is also saying that the envy, the envy and the jealousy is coming against you because of what they see in you, because they see how you've been raised. They see where you ended up. They thought you was going to be at the bottom and you ended up overcoming those places and things that they thought that you were going to be. Okay. And also somebody in the family, uh, started a lie. Somebody in the family started a gossiping lie about you. And it is also a reason why these estranged family members feel the way they feel about you. OK, and you have not really had any contact with these people. Some of them you haven't heard from in a while. You may have um, said, hey, or yay, but you've never really had a close connection with these family members. OK, God is showing me them popping up out of nowhere. All right. Hallelujah. And then God is also showing me some spiritual old acquaintances that we really need to be careful about people of God. OK, Um For some of you, these spiritual acquaintances, these spiritual acquaintances are looking to steal a portion of your harvest, which is what we saw in 1 Corinthians chapter 9 when we read it. And these are some spiritual um, acquaintances. These are some spiritual hindrances that God has already healed you from. And God healed you from these and you have not um, had to go back to these spiritual hindrances um, since you've left them. But God showed me that as you are um, going into the new year, um, January 1, okay, 2021, the harvests is, are gonna begin to manifest throughout the year that he showed me how pride, he showed me how arrogance, he showed me how greed and selfishness is gonna try to creep up on you. It's going to try to come in. It's going to try to sneak up on you. OK. And why is this happening? Why is the enemy going to try you like this? Because remember, guys, in the last video and, and maybe the video before that, we talked about Matthew chapter 13, verse 28. And in that book, it talks about how, you know, when we reap our harvest, some of us are going to reap 100 fold. Some of us are going to reap 60 fold. Some of us are going to reap 30 fold. And so this just means that we know that our harvests are going to be more than what we anticipated. I got to tell you what God has prepared for his righteous, what God has prepared for his beloved. You better know that these harvests are going to render more than what we have anticipated. And so with that being known, you know, it's, it's easy to lose touch. It's going to be easy for some of us to what, uh, not get out of alignment, you know, especially if your harvest is huge, especially if your harvest is out of this world, it's, it's, it's going to be easy to lose sight of where this harvest came from. It's going to be easy to lose sight about who is your source, who is your God, who is the one that allowed for you to have this harvest. Okay. All right. And so God is saying that we must not allow for our harvest to take us out of alignment, out of the character of God, get us to a place where we forget where we came from, where we forget where we were prior to receiving the harvest. Does that make sense? Now, guys, if you noticed um, in the physical and the spiritual acquaintances that I just mentioned, where are they from? In other words, where do they come from? God is asking me to ask you that question. If you paid attention to the physical and the spiritual acquaintances that I just mentioned, he's saying, ask them, where are they from? Where do they come from? What's the answer? What's the answer, guys? Somebody said, don't go back. That is correct. They come from your past. 
Come on, J Janie says the enemy. Yeah, they come from the enemy too. And they also come from your past. And what do they have in common, people of God? What do they have in common? Anybody can tell me, what do the spiritual and the physical past acquaintances that I just mentioned have in common? Not only are they from your past, but what else? They deceived you. They deceived you in some way. How did they deceive you? They manipulated you into thinking that you could trust them. But at the end of your connection, at the end of your encounter, at the end of your season with these past acquaintances, it only turned out that they were connected to you because they deceived you. That is what the common denominator is. They are from your past. They are from the enemy and they have a history of deception. Come on, y'all. And, and since they deceived you, the Lord is saying that their access has been denied. Access denied. Because they deceived you. Your upcoming 2021 harvest is off limits to those who have participated in deceiving you in your past. Why? Because your harvest awaits you in a new season of your life. And these past acquaintances, they weren't in your past. They weren't there for you back then. They abandoned you then. They deceived you then. Therefore, they cannot come with you in your new season. Okay? God is saying to pay attention to this because I'm telling y'all, when we get ready to enter into the new year, when we get ready to enter into our new season, you're going to begin to see old faces, old text messages, old phone calls, okay? Old inquiries, old emails, okay? From people that you have not seen for however long, for people who were in your past, who were in your life, in your season previously and disappeared from your season because of deception, whatever the whatever it was that took place, it was because of deception. These are the people that God is not going to allow to be a part of your harvest. And guys, this is important. The Lord says, do not sell your crown to someone else that don't sell your prize to something else, to someone else. Do not give your harvest away to someone that God has not permitted to join you in your next season. Okay? All right? This is important because if you allow these people to carry forth with you, to walk with you with your new harvest, if you allow these entities, if you allow these partners, these connections to walk with you in your new harvest, you are liable and likely to lose it Listen to what God is saying. He will take your harvest. He will shut your harvest down. God is saying that the people that are going to be a part of your harvest are going to be people that he is authorized to be in your new season. And how you will know, because these people that are going to be authorized to be in your new season are not going to be people that have deceived you. That's how you're going to know. God is showing us that the people that previously, the connections, the entity that, that, that previously deceived us are not to go into the next season. And you guys know what these people are. You know who these entities are. You know who these connections are. You know who these previous partners are. Hallelujah. Okay. Access denied. God is giving us a warning. He's given us a warning. He's given us a warning today because he's saying as we are moving in to the new year, we're going to begin to see old acquaintances, old physical acquaintances, old spiritual acquaintances creeping up on us, coming up, popping up out of nowhere, showing up out of nowhere, trying 
to partner with us again, trying to get back in our good grace, trying to reestablish their relationship. Now, wait a minute. I want to say this. We are not to hate anybody. You know, when somebody do us wrong, what does the Bible tell us? The Bible tells us that we must forgive. So, yes, you can forgive. You can forgive your enemy. You can love your enemy. You can pray for your enemy. But that is not the same thing as inviting them into your new season. It is not the same thing as sharing your 2021 harvest. The 2021 harvest is for the righteous only. For the righteous only as it relates to the good deeds in the seeds. The wicked and the non-repentant, they have their own separate harvests, which has nothing to do with the righteous. OK, so they have their own harvests. So you're not going to be sharing your harvest with the wicked. You're not going to be sharing your harvest with the people that don't want to know God. You're not going to share your harvest with the people that refuse okay, to acknowledge what they have done to people, to circumstances, to situations. They got to deal with God. And if they were not for you in your last season, then they're not for you in this season. Okay. Hallelujah. They're not for you in this season. They're not for you in this season. All right. So God is giving us warning. People of God, that is the word from the Lord on today. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, guys, I told you I wasn't going to hold you all too long. I just wanted to come on here and give you that warning. The enemy is already setting up shop. He already setting up shop to meet us on January the 1st, 2021. And God is saying, recognize. And if you are not sure about a connection, if you're not sure about a partner, if you're not sure if this person or, or entity is someone that has deceived you in the past, well, then you need to test the spirit by the spirit. I tell you guys all the time, test, test, test every spirit. You need to go to God and seek counsel from, the, from, from God and ask him, Lord, is this someone that is going to walk with me? Is this someone that's going to share the harvest that you're releasing to me in this season? Let the Lord guide you, okay, on who your partners are going to be, who your connections are going to be, who are the people that's going to rock with you in 2021, okay? We're not bringing in old baggage. We're not bringing in people that deceived us in the past. God said access denied with the DT, D. okay? Praise the living God, hallelujah. So guys, that is the word from the Lord on today. Remember, we are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus' holy name. I love you guys so much. I thank you for coming. I thank you all for subscribing to Shanika Byers United for Christ. I thank you all for subscribing to our new channel, United for Christ Prayer Room. I thank you all for becoming members of Shanika. I definitely thank you all for shopping with us. Guys, we have some new items that we put into the store. We thank you for your your whatever you decide to purchase. Know that a percentage of what we our sales goes to a local shelter. I had someone recommend that we donate directly to the shelter. So we're looking for that. We're going to be changing up how we send the money to the shelter. But it is a local children's shelter um, in, in South Carolina that we're sending a portion of the sales to. So I just want to thank you guys so much for um, participating in that. And well, I guess I'm going to get ready to get on off of here. I'm just going to say bye to Propensity, Keith, Karen, Chats. Got people from Facebook and YouTube. I feel so loved. Thank you. Glory to God. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go and get off of here. Okay? I love you all. And if it's the Lord's will, I'll be back here sometime soon to serve you. Praise God. Bye. <laughs>